outer orange. It is time for me to talk about one of my old favorite decks because I got a little bit of an upgrade and we're going to talk about it today. Privet, see and welcome back. I have kind of talked about this deck here and there either on social media or I've talked about it like in some of my other videos. And today we're actually going to break down the deck and kind of just go over it starting out with the right deck and then we'll go into the main deck. But first we've got to talk about sleeves as per usual. I'm using the uh, Love is War sleeves. I, I, really, I think I've had these already on here and I, because I don't think my ride line personally has changed. And then for the actual sleeves i'm using the this for the 50 card i'm using these i think i've also had these on i think all i did was just cut it by four to make 50 happen and then for the deck box i think i switched it but i'm actually using the o steel deck box for this one but i'm pretty sure this old steel deck box had something else in it like literally a couple of videos back but anyway let's go ahead and get started we're gonna talk about for tia now for tia is a deck that basically plays like overlord she got a little bit of an upgrade with halloween stuff including this card right here however i will say i think this deck went from like a good deck to a casual deck i as you guys know all those people are always tell you exactly how i feel about a deck this, this, even if i really like it this is a deck i've always really liked but i'm not gonna lie i think with the new set and the 50 card increase i think this deck has lowered there's also a lot of different ways to build this deck you can build this deck with the promo which is stole as i believe her name is but without it you can build with yuka you can build without yuka there's a couple approaches to it but i think the main thing you want to get out of this video and basically your deck building is having enough friends cards being able to revive and being able to make your vanguard restand. i think that's the main thing they want to prioritize also some people opt to go into the regular for tia some people opt to have this for tia in the ride line i prefer this one because i like the 5k that she gets uh on the restand this one i like a little bit later because i like to have more board to be a little bit set up but you can also go for the high roll and have this as your ride deck anyway let's go ahead and talk about the ride deck your starter can be whatever you want it to be Whatever you need for this can be your starter. This is the Mimish Arba Char. Basically, when she's rode upon two, she pops herself out. And then the grade two says when the Fortilla rides on top of her, you have a couple of friends. You can just you don't have to discard for ride, which is also really nice. Uh, this comes out of soul and you can put it behind Vanguard. So you'll instantly have the friends condition. So this kind of helps with the consistency. So we will run the Kyrie ride line in this slot as well, just to kind of help with just keeping your, your hand more solidified. That's perfectly fine as well. This ride line just makes it so you don't whiff or don't brick as hard. And I like that more. And then of course we have Fortilla which is the main vanguard this one says if you do a vanguard rear guard you can put something in friends if, it, if it's, you have like a thing with it same column and then her other ability says and then by she attacked if your whole board is basically friends you can't boss discarded card standard she gets 5k and she loses a drive very overlord-esque first we'll start with persona this is just your basic average persona uh but we have additional personas now which is actually pretty important because this deck does like persona writing we have the new full moon magic for tia and she also counts as the Mimish for Tia, so she counts as both. So she counts as, as the dress-up card, so basically you can for Persona Ride off of her as well, which is also really nice. So you can go basically this into this, and then, you, and then you'll be okay. And you can go back, and you'll basically always have Persona, which is really nice. Now let's talk about her real quick, because she definitely has a lot of effects on her, so we're going to kind of break it down. She says, Vanguard Rearguard, if you have another card in the same column, uh, yeah, friends. And also, she has an extra drive on Vanguard Rigor. So, as long as you have three units with friends in the card name, so so you, uh, that condition is pretty easy to get. However, the second effect it says if you preserve this turn, this cost may maybe appear with the Carabast and a discard a card from hand. And then, by that this unit attacked, if you have five or more other friends units, discard a card with her hands card name standard, she, and she gets minus two drive. So, basically, she's a triple drive, and then she goes from triple to one, which is also really nuts. Now the downside to this when if you were to choose to go into her first you need to have the fortian hand to discard or else this effect is basically offline the upside to her is that you get a triple drive and you get a restand basically putting you in a quad drive the other and there's another downside to her she doesn't get the 5k like the original one does so it's kind of up to you like i said which approach you want to go it is nice to have the triple but also she's a vanilla on restand if you don't have any additional cards that kind of help pump her up there is another card that helps pump her up but you have to have her basically on first ride you have to have this a copy of her tia and the grade two that i'll talk, talk about later to kind of have like a full pop off that's why i prefer going into persona with her and then leaving the other the other one is just like a backup plan. Going to our twos, if you can build this kind of in multiple ways, but I chose to go back into the melty route. You can also build there's a doggy, the grade one dog, you can a grade two dog you can run just this. You can run her in her slot and then in the slot of uh the you know the drawing engine, you can run this grade one right here and it'll kind of fulfill the same condition. If you want to go a cheaper route or if you want to just go a different route, you can do this. This is basically draws you a card as well. Then we're in melty anyway this is melty a very popular card um she's a friends unit she says if you're to say again the, the usual thing if something's to say calm as her gets friends this is when she's played her placed her in the main phase you can carry blast call card draw card basically very good card to kind of keep extending so you can keep drawing cards and then use you a good amount of back or you know whatever you want to do very basic card she's been around uh lyrical for a little bit now so she's kind of like she she's been She's been around Lyrical for a while, so she's kind of a stable, but also um, she's cheaper now than she was, which is also really nice, and most people can afford her now. Next we have Roxelia. 
I love this card with the burning passion. She says, um, again, she has the friends condition and there's like effect says when she attacks a vanguard, if you have another, if you have three or more friends, she gets plus 5k. And then basically if you have five or more, five other mutant units that have friends in their card names, you can bounce something back that isn't herself, which is also really nice. So basically she's a 50k beater and then also she has to bounce a card back to hand, which is also really nice because then you can refill your board and also save your units at the same time. This is the card that I was talking about earlier. This is Crystal of the Special Emotions Bell Bellian. This card's really cool. I, she's, she's basically the better version of the old grade two we used to run. I think I have it right here. Uh, she's basically the better version of this card so if you remember larisa larisa basically this is the replacement of larisa because this card is basically that card but better she says it again she has the friends conditions so we're not going to keep repeating that but during your turn if you have three or more other friends units all your vanguards get plus 5k that's the part the 5k i'm talking about that you really want to achieve because you, you need that 5k to basically be on her because she doesn't have the 5k on her own but something to keep in mind if you're on the original one she gets 5k and then she gives her another 5k which is also really nice her other effects that she also gets 10k power if your opponent's greater or greater so she's also a really high beater very similar to larissa but just better basically 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 better with larissa because she also has that additional 5k here we have the aveda just uh, she just gets 2k power if you're friends and this is continuous on both sides by the way and also she has the friends condition as well so she's another friends card after that we have the easter card i used to not like this card but i think now in the current set she's actually not too bad she says when she boosts if you have a great theory greater vanguard with her it's card name or medel just one of your others you get uh, with friends it's card name they get put okay those are friends cards basically once you boost something else gets 5k which is really nice because you can stack on the vanguard make the vanguard bigger and bigger as you go and overall it's just not a terrible card to run nowadays i used to not like her but she's good now i will say if you want a replacement for this slot the stolas would be the replacement here probably that or what the, the yuka's that i'm about to show so up to you where you want to put it i run the Stolas and they really like the Stolas, so that's another option. Speaking of Yuika, here she is. I'm running three copies of Yuika. She's still here. You, the Yuika for Excelia combo is just really good. I just really like it personally. Like, you don't have to run it, but I really value it because against retire matchups, it's just one less thing to worry about. And also, it just keeps the it keeps your board state really good. And also, she gets 5k, which is also really nice. And you can rush early on and not get punished for it, which is why I value the Yuika in this deck. I run one copy of this girl. I will say this is kind of a flex slot. This can really be any. This could be a Flotilla. Could be really anything to be honest with y'all um i kind of threw her in just to throw her in but uh the soul blast is really heavy for the with the yuika build so if you're going the yuika build you probably shouldn't be running this but if you're not running the yuika build i think this card's perfect also really pretty card her ability says she has the friends abilities and then her ability says when she boosts a unit attacking a great three or greater when this unit boosts a unit attacking a great three or greater unit if you have a vanguard for tiana's card name and you have five or more other friends you can still bust two and your opponent cannot call sentinels from hand to guard circle so she has a little guard restrict that is actually really nice if you get it to go off but i will say the soul blast 2 is really heavy next has some pgs you can throw the sanction 2 in this slot um i would, prefer, I, would I think i would advise you to i just don't have all the sex in the world to like in, throw between all the decks so i just swap them out i still feel like swapping my my two three sex suits all over the place so i just keep them vanilla and then i just move them out move out where i can um after that we have triggers you can run the red ot i actually recommend the red ot the lyrical one isn't terrible in this deck but i think red ot is probably better and then we have the basic heals but you can change them out for the crit heals if in current meta and then you can change them out if you need other heals like the restanding heals might not be too bad into, into share new and then next we have the draws you can i'm going to change these to fronts once energy comes out before energy comes out running draws because i feel like we're in a weird spot where you kind of just want to see your stuff in time i need the draws with a 50 card deck and no energy is just a little weird you don't want to break yourself like crazy unless you have a deck that searches like crazy like prism or something like that then we have um uh, crits sorry i realized i stacked them i didn't actually but again, we have four crits and then four more crits on top of that. And then that's basically the main deck. I'm gonna, I am gonna, I am gonna run a quick game with y'all here just to show you guys how the deck works. And then we'll probably close it out there. Like I said, this deck isn't like super, super complicated. Nothing too crazy going on here. It's a very, it's a, it's pretty much have a board, do stuff with full board. I feel like this is one of the easiest decks to, to play and to learn from. And actually, I was teaching some of my Lumbee's friends how to play Vanguard the other day. And uh, it's kind of funny you teach showing them this deck because they're like what do you mean your board just becomes friends they thought it was the funniest thing ever i thought that was so cool <laughs> go ahead and roll i rolled a one and then my opponent rolled a six i don't i don't remember if i've gone first in a while but whatever it doesn't matter uh we're gonna play uh play is probably gonna choose to go first we have a lot of triggers we're just gonna send back all of those and hopefully not drawn to more oh boy, this is a very 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 weird hand but we'll see how it goes uh so opponent went they did their thing now it's argo definitely gonna pitch this <laughs> this draw uh here's our zero let's go into the one draw again for going second okay we're starting to come back we could probably come back from here we're probably just gonna raw swing and do a drive check and it's melty we take a damage because we want that melty and then we're gonna draw probably pitch 
Oh, I don't even know. I think we pitch it for Tia here because we kind of need it. <laughs> we kind of we kind of need shield. We're gonna pop out the grade one that comes out, and then we're probably just gonna pop out a board here and kind of maybe maybe we'll do a melty play. I might do like a, a melty play here. Uh, and then draw a card. Oh, we got another melty. It's not too terrible. I'm a little scared to kind of go past this. Normally, I'd call two here. But in case my opponent doesn't want to, is afraid to give me damage or something, I think I'll just leave it here. So we're going to swing, and then we're going to get Roxelia, and then we're going to swing, and then use Yuika's ability to still blast and bounce this card back to hand, and pass it back to our opponent. They're probably going to give us some damage here. Uh, oh god, that is scary. We're going to block a little bit and hope we don't freaking die here. Uh, this would be a very terrible time to just take L's, but we're going to guard. We do have a free discard, so that's always nice. We're going to draw. Uh, we're going to ride for free because we have the friends units, so there we go. Nice, nice and free. Our opponent is on a grade three or greater, so that is live. So we're gonna go ahead and actually we're probably gonna do Melty's ability here. So we'll do Melty. Um, actually, we're not gonna do Melty because we have Roxella now. I kind of like Roxella. Yeah, we're just gonna call a board. This this gets plus five, and then yeah, we think we're good here. Uh, she gives an additional five k as well, so that's always nice. We do have a full board of friends, so this is friends, friends, friends. And yeah, we're just gonna go uh, go swinging. We're just gonna swing for eighteen. And then do our drives here. Oh, I really need that. It's super, super needed. Probably put power here because this will be our last attacker. Swing. And then use her ability to counter blast. We'll probably pitch a melty here. Restand her. And then we're going to probably swing again. And she's pretty high uh, or decently high because she has her 5k and her 5k. So we're going to do. Oh, it's an over trigger. So we'll draw a card. We'll just pretend clear ability. Turn to another Portia. Holy crap. Um, and now everything just gets like hugely buffed here, so everything's pretty big. This is 18, 20, 38, 48 with her 10k ability, and then we can get the 5k over here. And we'll use her ability to basically bounce this back, and then use her secondary, uh, use Yuika's ability to then bounce this back, and pass it back to her opponent. We have a lot of room to take damage here, so probably are going to do that. We do hit a trigger there, which is going to help. Our shield is really, really, really bad. We're probably actually going to 5 here. Uh, I think realistically, we actually might be dead. But we'll just play it out just so you guys can see the Halloween aspect. But I'm not going to lie, having four for Tia's <laughs> in hand was not, definitely not... Oh, we would have healed out, so we would have been okay. So let's Persona Ride, draw. So now we're basically going to set up again. But now we have the uh, Persona, and we also have the Halloween version. We are in triple drive form now. She gives the 5k over here, which is really nice. And then, yeah, we're basically just going to go in. We're just going to swing. This is going to be 28 at our opponent for triple drive. So we're going to do one check. Two check, three check. Wow, the blanks are real. <laughs> We're gonna cat blast pitch one of the ones that we saw to then restand and swing again. One drive. Do like the heals. We haven't seen a lot of heals, which is very nice. So we're gonna swing this way again. We're gonna apply the 5k here. And this is 18, 20, 18, 20, 38. 48, 58, and then we're gonna go this way. And this on its own is 18, 23, so 18, 23, and then her effect puts her at 28, the persona puts her at 38, and then 48, 58 with the with the OT, and then we're gonna activate the ability to bounce this back. And then um after we we're done killing, we'll bounce this back. So realistically speaking, I think our opponent should be dead by now, but we can just kind of play out just a little bit further. Uh, draw a card and then we did hit a defense which might save us but to be honest like i said we should we should we're probably already dead if we're not dead the opponent should be dead so that's basically the deck like i said it's not very complicated there's nothing in here that's like too out there too insane i think if you're on the stole s build it involves a little bit more uh, importance of movement it just a little bit a little bit more importance of like how you set up as you guys saw you guys saw the Ruxelia yuika play which is like we actually we saw it every single time i think the last couple turns so very very strong we did check the ot i think if this was the red ot it probably would have been game then and there um with the restanding vanguard and, and then the extra attack and everything it's just the red ot is just so lethal especially like like that but it, we did go second so probably the, ch the chances our opponent had to farm got the chance to farm a little bit so probably would have lived but they would have lost so much of their pieces that chances are i probably would have won the game anyway but i just think the red ot is just insane anytime i check it my opponent usually just saying they're like oh i guess i just die here but we're back to back to the ride line here so yeah that was for tia like i think this deck's definitely more on the casual side it's very fun to play it's also very simple if you're just into like a simple deck this is definitely the, the more simple side of things like yes you have to make decisions but i feel like the, the decisions are not as like heavily weighted as like some other decks but overall i think it's fun if you want to play something casual this is definitely a casual deck i also think it's a lot cheaper now if you just exclude the yuikas and just run something else i think this is like a relatively cheap deck to build 
they're uh, the melties used to be expensive but they went down so realistically speaking i don't even know what the most expensive card in here would be like i don't know if there is an expensive card in here because i know for a fact that the new 4t is cheap and i know the old one isn't that expensive either so realistically i want to say this is like a 60 dollar deck but if you're putting in like all the cool stuff like the sanctitude or anything else might be a little more expensive you don't run Forbidal in here you can run the chalice but you don't need the chalice because you have the fortillas because the fortillas meet the condition for what you're trying to do so you don't even you don't even need a regalius piece in here relatively i think this deck's actually very very cheap to build especially if you if you disclude the yuika if you just don't run yuika this deck is like really cheap so something kind of keep in mind if you're interested in building a budget deck this is definitely a budget deck i would say this is probably one of if we're, if it could be like a maximized deck but be under but be under a budget hope you guys enjoyed this video hope it helps you like subscribe comment all that good stuff don't forget to shop at 50 cards that shop we are getting the luard stride decks coming out like i think this like right now we also have the sheer new stuff that's dropping we have the triple booster stuff coming out next month we also have bcs bsf coming on the corner there's california and houston coming very very soon so you know if you need some stuff to get ready 50 cards that shop code orange use my stuff you can get sleeves on there as well i really recommend the sleeves there's some booster red sleeves on there that i personally use whenever i compete you can also get them use my code to save yourself a little bit of money and they're actually not that expensive on there i've recently been having a really hard time finding sleeves because the broccoli seeds i used to get tripled in price at the place i used to go to i'm not even exaggerating they're literally like 25 dollars now and it's just so not worth buying them um so i've actually been using 50 cards as a way to get sleeves for, for my outer sleeves so yeah you can as well peace out guys that's for Daniel. see you guys in a future video Bye!